Hey guys, John Loxley here, back with our, well, a blind playthrough of Dark Souls 3. So let's, uh, let's begin. Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric. Where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades, and the lords go without thrones. Undead Legion, the Abyss Watchers. And the reclusive Lord of the Profaned Capital. Yon the Giant. So I've watched that like three times. I, I did a test recording and then I, you know, watched the test recording to make sure everything was good and then I watched it this time. Um, I'm still not entirely sure what's going on there. Um, there have been, I have come across a couple spoilers for this game. Um, it is it is mostly blind, but I know, I don't know, a couple things. I watched the, uh, the Super Best Friends playthroughs of Dark Souls 1 and 2. And they, since for whatever reason they did it backwards, they did three, two, and then one. They were kind of talking about three, certain some of the time. <clears throat> um, but I don't, I don't know much. So I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll start. Kind of see what goes on here. So mail is fine. Oh, uh. Oh, well, yeah. I guess let's try typing. Uh, you know what? Loxley sounds a little bit better than John. Although to be fa fair, it sounds more like an archer, not like a uh, age young. No bearing on ability. Young's fine. Class. Okay, so just like before, it changes your level. It's 
obscure knight of poor renown, collapsed roaming the land, sturdy owing to high vitality and stout armor. Collapsed roaming the land. That's a little odd. Mercenary and veteran of the battlefield, high dexterity allows masterful wielding of dual scimitars. Descendant of northern warriors famed for their brawn, utilizes high strength to wield a heavy battle axe. A former herald who journeyed to finish a quest undertaken, wields a sturdy spear and employs a gentle restorative miracle. Interesting. And he starts with a metal shield. That looks like a metal shield also, though. High vitality, stout armor. A uh, thief. Common thief, pitiful deserter, wields a dagger intended for backstabs along to, alongside a military issue bow. Assassin who stalks their prey from the shadows, favors sorceries in addition to thrusting swords. Okay. Interesting. A loner who left formal academia to pursue further research commands soul sorceries using high intelligence. Pyromancer. From a remote region who manipulates flame, also an adept close combat warrior who wields a hand axe. Hmm. Traveling cleric who collapsed from exhaustion, channels high faith to cast many and varied miracles. Naked and of unknown origin, either an unfathomable fool in life or was stripped of possessions upon burial. Okay, so just kind of looking through real fast. Oh, some of us start with rings. And we're back down to the two ring slots. That makes sense. That's some kind of a dragon crest ring. Uh, looks like only two do. The pyromancer and... The sorcerer. I'm... Hmm. Tempted to choose this dude. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which to pick. <clears throat> uh, you know, originally when I first started playing Demon Souls and Dark Souls, I picked, like, Sorcerers and Pyromancers, but with Dark Souls 2, the last time I played through, I did a, like, a great sword user, and that was a lot of fun. So I'm probably going to go with Herald to start with and then switch over to a more strength-based guy. Because this will give us a little bit of the miracles, a little bit of the the armor, uh, spear to start with. So a little bit leaning more towards the dex side. Um, actually, no, that's not uh, what I want. Okay, we'll go with Herald. Burial Gift. Raises maximum HP. Divine Blessing. What is FP? Stores HP and cures ailments. Huh. Unless it's something like the system from 2, where you lose more life the more you die. I don't know. Uh, fire gem used to upgrade fire weapons. More appropriate for a warrior. Sovereignless soul. Uh, increases item discovery for a short while. Dark Spirit, Invade Other Worlds, Branch of a Young White Birch. Can be used to blend into environment, but only once. Um, maybe Life Ring. Give us a little bit more life to start with, I suppose. Face Presets, that's fine. Guess commoner. Everyone has imperfections, but a commoner without flaws is a rare creature indeed. Oh, there you go. Astora. Dragon Academy. Cheerless Cleric of Karim. Katarina. Serpentine Traveler. 
Great Swamp Outcast. Oh. Okay. Londor, Shadow of Death. <clears throat> Londor is a realm of those hollow and old. Erythelion. Fated to be taken to the Boreal Valley. Okay, let's just go with Commoner. That's fine. Build. That's fine also. What is appearance? Oh. Oh no, that's fine. Alright, wish me luck. Well, forgot to start my timer this time, but that's alright. So I'm coming out of one of the graves. All right. Cemetery of Ash. So this is probably the tutorial section, I guess. Control seam. Well, Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Oh well. Control camera. I see. Alright. There you go. Regular attack. Yep. Strong and heavy attacks. Looks like we have... What? What is this? Is this... Water on the ground. Strong attack, yep. Okay. And that is an enemy. Okay, shield works, and then parry. Okay. I think I started with three Estus, I'm not entirely sure. Target lock and release. Yep. It would be nice if, uh, since I just inadvertently used the Estus, that uh, if I was full and hit the button by mistake, that it wouldn't take it. But, uh, I mean, this is Dark Souls after all, so... Okay. And looking at the stamina, it looks like normal stuff. Backstep. And then roll. Okay. There's another dude over there and something else. And then there's... Move and dash. Okay. So there are a lot of coffins in this area. Soul of a deserted corpse. So I've heard this is more like Dark Souls 1 as opposed to Dark Souls 2. It looks great. Alright. So these must be the unkindled. I assume unkindled are just your normal ashen Estus, Estus flax. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, start does that. Gestures, yep. Equipment, inventory, black separation crystal. Oh, you have a tool belt. Way of white circlet. Okay. Fill with, oh yeah, number held two out of three. Okay, so I did use one, of course. Uh, fill with as just as bonfire, restores HP. Show item info. Uh, the undead treasure these dull green flasks, fill with Estus at bonfire, and drink to restore HP. The journey of an undead has always traced the bonfires. No journey of import has been made without an Estus flask. Liquid fire. Uh, dull ashen flasks. Fill with Estus at bonfires, drink to restore FP. 
quite befitting of an unkindled, an ashen Estus turns a bonfire's heat cold. What is FP? Okay. Um, oh, it must be like focus points or something. Dark sign is the sign of an accursed undead. Dark sign returns its bearer to the last bonfire rest at or the bonfire at the Firelink Shrine. Right. Okay, that was one thing that I knew that we are going to Firelink eventually. But at the cost of all souls held. Carriers of the Dark Sign are reborn after death and eventually lose their minds, turning hollow. And so it is, they are driven from their homelands. Soul found in a deserted corpse. That's an interesting phrase. Deserted corpse. Like, the... I don't know, I guess our body is a undeserted corpse, because I'm still using it. Uh, used to acquire souls, let the Firekeeper transform this sovereignless soul into a source of strength. For to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. So, am I unkindled? Because said the unkindled are not fit to be cinder, which I assume means they're unable to link the fire. But who knows? Black separation crystal, charm of farewell granted to banished undead. The crystal sends phantoms back to their homes or you back to yours. Beware of fickle use of this item if you intend to nurture relations. Way of white circlet, online play item, restores connection to other worlds. Those who engage in unjust deeds when in contact with other worlds will lose their connection to them. Way of white circlets assume such sin as their own, but are found few and far between. Acting without honor will never be without risk. Huh. Okay. Let's check status. Equip load, poise, item discovery, poison bleed, two minutes slot, slots, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, let's try explanation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, vigor, HP, resistance to frost. Okay. FP also determines number of attunement slots. Okay, so they kind of merge some of them again. Uh, governing stamina, resistance to lightning and bleeding. Physical defense, this is also affected by other attributes. Governs maximum equip load and poison. So vitality is equip load. And some defense, endurance is stamina and vigor is hit points. Okay, so I guess it is more like uh, Dark Souls 2 a little bit. Required to wield powerful and heavy weapons, governs resistance to fire, and improves attack strength. Advanced weapons. Improves attack strength, reduces spellcasting time, reduces damage taken when falling. Required to cast sorcery and pyromancy, increases spell potency. Pyromancy is affected by both faith and intelligence. Magic defense is calculated from this attribute. I wonder if hexes are still in here. Faith. Required to cast miracles and pyromancies, potency, dark defense. Okay. Uh, tribute governing item discovery, ups bleeding and poison capabilities, governs resistance to curse. Good to know. Oh, and on the upper right I have defense and absorption, which is... What is this? Let's jump over. Oh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Absorption is the combined value of all equipped armor and additional effects. That I don't understand. Oh. Huh. Well, okay. I guess uh, let's continue. Random dead person. So, oh, there's another one. <coughs> Guard. Oh, you can hear him. Behind an enemy, critical hit. So I guess backstab would be another name for it. Okay. Ragdoll is still in effect. So what is the difference between... Oh, right, this restores spell points. 
And we're getting shot at from somewhere. Whoa! Is that him? Yes. All right, jerk. Oh yeah, he's totally hollowed out. I need to look, actually. Uh, inventory. Talisman kite shield. Guard absorption physical, 100%. Nice, okay. So it was because it was fire that I was taking a little bit of damage. That's okay. Whoa! Okay, welcome to Dark Souls. Ow! Okay, that's not how I wanted this to go. Okay, my windup is like super slow. Okay. Um. Yeah. Wait. I have two again. Did I get one when that dude had, like, stuff coming out of him? Uh, let's see. Two-handed left trigger while two-handing use right weapon skills. Skills. I see. Well, use item. Yep, got that figured out. Whoa! Okay, I have not played Dark Souls in a while. I need to be more careful. Left and right button. Wait, what? Hang on. Left and... Oh! No. There we go. Timing. Hmm. Okay, timing's a little tricky, I guess, as normal, but should be all right. Parry, repel attack, repost after successful parry, of course. I am terrible at that. Okay, so we have two paths, one which I assume leads to the end of the tutorial, and this one goes over here. Turn back. Yeah. I I probably should. I assume this is like a super tough enemy or something. Oh, and I'm human. Okay, what is over here? This is a big open area. Oh, what is that thing? Uh, oh, people are fighting that thing. I assume that is like, well. <sighs> you know what? I know I am definitely not gonna be able to beat that thing like this, more than likely. Seems there's some kind of item over there, which I assume is, uh, yeah, we're going away. I assume as soon as you get closer to that thing, it just comes after you. And while I would like to try it, should I just try it? What happens if I die? I just end up over there? I still keep all my items and stuff, right? Maybe I should make a suicide run for that item. <sighs> choices, choices. Well, okay, let's see what happens if I go in here. Oh, here it comes. Oh, it's... Okay. Soul of an Unknown Traveler. Well... 
Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna try fighting this thing because... Oh, it's crystals. I thought it was ice. But it's crystal, and it's... Okay. Oh, it's just over here. There's nothing else. Okay, whoa. Okay, ouch. Well, that was me not blocking. Oh, okay, that hurt. Okay. Nice and easy. Oh, okay. Okay, he is... What is it, though? All right, well... Okay. Yeah, I know I could have... Well, welcome to the first episode where I'm fighting this thing the whole time. Okay. Good job. Go me. Yep, and I can still move a little bit. But that was my last Estus. Yeah, I don't, uh... Okay. Crystals are bad. That, like, stunned him. Maybe. Okay, oop, that was dumb. Dropped my guard for, like, a second. Yep. Come on, dude. Oh, come on. Oh, hey, that was different. Oh, well, that was close. That was a close one. All right, come on, dude. Holy shit! Titanite scale. I'm gonna be honest. I had no idea I would actually beat that thing. I was hoping. Titanite scale. Reinforce soul transposed weapon to plus four. Titanite altered by a soul. Weapons forged by soul transposition. It can only be reinforced by titanite of the same kind. In rare cases, crystal lizards. Was that a crystal lizard? Uh, devour souls, growing to monstrous proportion and leaving these great scales. So those are the crystal lizards from... from one? Were they in two? I don't remember. Now we just have to be careful, because unless we find a bonfire, we're like one hit away from getting killed. Also, this is super interesting. It slows you down when it's, like, waist-high. That makes sense. Alright, that was a good first fight. That was good, it wasn't, uh... Change weapons, toggle items, yep. Oh, you know what? Oh, that, uh... 
Oh! Right, we're back to... I'm gonna use that again. Oh, it uses stamina and charges. Or, uh... We're not to charges anymore, we're back to... Flower points or whatever. <laughs> Focus points, I guess. Okay, that is death. And this is Dark Souls. I've been playing, uh... Dragon's Dogma recently, so its controls are very similar, but man, I don't want to die. Okay, bonfire. Awesome. Gotta be careful, because this is Dark Souls. Rest of bonfire, restore HP and Estus. Yes, please. Ah. Okay. Oh, and we get the, uh, Cemetery of Ash. Leave. So it restores everything. That you only have one of, though. Okay. So. Wait, but does it, uh, I assume it respawns the enemies again. And this dude has a sword. Okay. Fading soul. Let me, uh... I just want to test this again. And... He is back. Okay, good. So the rules... The rules are still the same, basically. Oh, uh, what is this? Uh, I hate that. I wish I could change that. You want me to run and dash to get to that thing? Where you then go that way, and I assume it takes you around this side. Oh, good. We're gonna... Yep. Village corpse, a couple fading souls. Ah, well, let me. Oh. Okay, there you go. That's, uh. That works. I guess I'll. I mean, it's definitely worth it, probably. Ah, I just. See, that's. Yeah, great. I hate it because when you click down, I, you know, I end up going to the, a different direction. Falling while plunging is a attack. It's, you know, a little inelegant, but it's fine. I assume there's some behind me. Yep. Okay, ouch. Yep. Okay, and I'm aware of that one. The boss. Okay, this is... Right, that's where I came from. Where is this hissing that I hear coming from? Down there. Is there a way down there? this guy come from? Maybe he came from below. Okay, that goes there. Where? Oh, okay. Now I see. Well, we're gonna try... Ugh. Okay, that didn't work. Thankfully, the fall damage is, well, it's not too bad.
Okay, that was less good. Alright, well, welcome to my blind playthrough of Dark Souls 3. Okay, so we gotta aim for that corner, presumably. Oh, alright. Titanite Shard. I made it. Uh, let's see. Titanite Shards are fragments of the legendary slabs. Titanite is etched into weapons to reinforce. Reinforces weapons to plus three. Presumably large shards after that. Uh, let's see. Smattering of souls. Acquire souls. And then... Oh, soul of an unknown traveler. I wonder if that was the dude at the... Uh... The dude sitting at that... Fountain or whatever it was. The dude in the armor. So the question is, why am I... I mean, why am I human? Right? This is beautiful, by the way. Look at that. And also, this is... Well... It probably would have been better just to do a plunging attack. That way I don't have to fight two of them. And I can hopefully kill one without, uh, sh you know... Without any hassle. Okay. Oh, and he's got a shield and a spear. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. What did I take damage from? The fall? Firebomb. Right on. Okay. Uh Well, I can't level yet. Let's see how this dude died. Uh, is he a warrior? Or is he... He's not the warrior. He's the, um... The, I don't remember. Okay, I'm gonna guess... Let's just try going for the boss, right? I'm gonna guess that I won't have time to use a healing spell. In the middle of battle, presumably. I may. Oh, and the clothes they're moving. Interesting. Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, we know. Whoa. You're kicking? Okay, so here. Oh, yeah, look at that thing. Oh, oh, okay, so he's got, like, stab attack. Got it. Well, and we know there's, like, tentacles or something kind of coming out of the dude's back, so... Before we do that... Let's just look around here real fast. Candles and graves and stuff. So, during the opening, they mentioned, like... Is it Lothric? is the convergence of the realms of the Lords of Cinder, or something like that. Um, I wonder if they mean, like, like the physical area where they all touch, or if that's a reference to, like, time being convoluted in Lordran. They also talked about the north, and this really looks like... Why am I bobbing up and down? That's better. Looks like uh, Dracula's castle right there. Um, this looks like the area where the Northern Undead Asylum is. And there's a bell. That must be the bell tower they were talking about at the beginning. But I don't think this guy was one of the Lords of Cinder. I assume the Lords of Cinder are like the big boss. Oops, sorry, Jack. I mean to startle you there. The big, uh, 
you know, like Nido and all that other stuff. Let's, uh, all right. Wish me luck, guys. Whoa, okay. Yeah, so this is gonna be... Okay, he's definitely got some swings. Okay. Oh, hey, and a... Oh, ouch. Okay, that's a heck of a hit. Okay. Need to make sure I do not fall off the cliff. That would be bad. He has combos. Man, and he hits for a ton of damage. Oh, there we go. Okay, that hurts. Ouch, so did that. And that's a hell of a knockdown, too. Oh, that was, damn it, not what I wanted to do. Oh. That was Dragon's Dogma conditioning right there, where I freaking mash the attack button. Ah, yeah, man, the, the triggers. I'm definitely not used to using. It is, oh, that, oh, that. Okay, that was, well, okay, that hurts. And so did that, oh, no, whoa. Thank you, iframes. I am moving the wrong way. Oh, here we go. Yep, that's... Oh. I don't even know what that thing is. Okay. Okay, I... Okay, whoa. Ouch. Okay. That's a hit. something. Whoa. That's like some Magus. Okay, achievement unlocked. This dude, Coiled Sword. Yes. Ember Restored. Achievement unlocked. Embrace the Flame. I don't even know what that means. But there's a bonfire here, so I will not complain. That's the... Oh, there's someone fighting right there in the background. The bonfire is this. Oh, wait! The coiled sword was what I... Hang on. Uh... Coiled sword. Thrust and shrine bonfire to activate bonfire warp. Sword missing from the shrine bonfire cannot be equipped as a weapon. Thrust into the shrine bonfire to restore its power and enable traver travel between bonfires. The sword is only bequeathed to chosen ash, as judged by judged by the Eudex, who waits the arrival of Ash as a scabbard. So I must be the chosen ash? I'm interested. Let's rest and see if we can actually because I know we can't get invaded. Oh, but I wish I could look through my inventory. 
well. Can't do anything at the moment. Spear. Common short spear allows attacking with shield up. Spear attacks are centered on thrusting. Can inflict high damage when timed with the end of an enemy swing. Oh. Skill. Shield splitter. Take a large step forward and make a single focus thrust to puncture enemy shields and inflict damage. Oh, that's the uh, two-handed heavy attack. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mar Miracle imparted is charity to those of little faith. That's... A great description. A show of tolerance from the Way of White. Like, hey, we're putting up with you. Here's a little bit of healing. Uh, let's see. Okay, no bow. Talisman. Okay, it's like a little thing of cloth, I guess. Talisman for casting miracles of the gods. Once a very common item on rung among the ranks of the old Way of White. Equip a talisman or sacred chime to cast miracles. Miracles must be attuned at a bond. Skill, unfaltering prayer. A two-handed thing, I suppose. Temporarily increase poise while casting miracles, preventing enemy attacks from interrupting prayer. Works while equipped in either hand. Neat. Does it wear down the uh, durability, I wonder? Kite shield, orthodox metal shield. Medium shields are the most average of shields, providing a practical balance of damage absorption, stability, and weight. Skill parry. Repel an attack to the right... Time to follow up with a critical hit. Works well equipped in either hand. Herald Helm. Right, because that's... Oh, rotating the camera in the background. Steel Helm, said to be worn by Heralds of the Way of White, who deliver commandments of duty. Protection made of steel has excellent physical absorption, but is found lacking against blunt and lightning damage. Herald Armor with a pure white cape, signature of Heralds of the Way of White. Protection made of blah, blah, blah. Leather gloves said to be worn by heralds of the Way of White, who deliver commandments of duty fairly plain, made to last on long journeys. Herald trousers. Go figure, I'm wearing the whole set. Quilted trousers said to be worn. Insulated materials effective against strike. Nicely complementing steel protective wear. Life ring. Generations old ring set with a small red jewel. Raises maximum HP. Rings have unique powers, and their discovery will do much to ease a wearisome journey. And that is Covenant. It said something about, oh yeah, and uh, the firebomb. Biscay or bisque, I don't know what that is. Urn filled with black powder explodes, inflicting fire damage. Fire damage, which differs from physical damage, is highly effective against creatures of flesh, beasts, and other foes that might naturally have cause to fear the flame. I see. Okay. Ashen Estus, Estus, uh, Ashen Estus Flask is kind of cool. All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll stop here for today. I don't know how to quit. <laughs> oh, there we go. Save the game, return to the main menu. Oh, and it's counting up. Look at my guy. He's adorable. All right. Well, that's basically it for today, guys. Thanks for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. Um, any comments, good, bad, and different you guys have, let me hear them. You know, I love hearing them. Um, something else. Uh, something else that I typically do, if this is your first time watching any of my videos, is I like to do the, uh, like a positive, unique moment with every, with every video. So um, the whole point is to increase your happiness and your positivity and your resilience by finding one unique positive moment per day. And I say unique because it can't be the same thing every day. The whole thing is to basically train you to find, you know, to search for good things, essentially. So uh, today for me, and it can be something simple, like today I, uh, I just vacuumed the rug or the carpet earlier. And it's, it's a nice little thing because, you know, it's it's nice to have a freshly vacuumed carpet to walk on. It just feels nice. Um, plus, it's a little bit cleaner. So that's it. It's something simple, something easy, but challenging to do over long periods of time, which is why it trains you to feel a bit better about yourself. Hopefully. That's the goal anyway. Uh, but that's all for today. Hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.